We humans will never know the joys of having horns. They're not just aesthetically pleasing headgear. Horns attract mates and secure territory. It's true that horns make strong weapons, but some animals, like cows and sheep, find that horns are especially useful as defensive shields. Horns can also communicate power. Big horns identify the dominant male in a herd so that newcomers can avoid fighting him and risking injury. Because horns are so valuable, many animals have evolved to mimic them. For example, the horned guan has a fake horn that's just a brightly colored flap of skin. The guan isn't the only one. The harmless hickory horn devil caterpillar fakes horns too. During its vulnerable molting time, it reveals horny spikes to scare predators. So what separates fake horns from real horns? And do females get to be horny too? True horns are made out of a substance that is similar to human fingernails. They're made out of bone that is covered by hair follicles and keratin, and they're permanently fused to their owner's skull. So what's the difference between horns and antlers? Well, antlers are made only of bone and are shed every year. A caribou sporting an impressive set of antlers, for example, does not have horns. Antlers are mainly found in male animals of the deer family. Many people associate horns with the males of the species too. This isn't always the case. Most hoofed mammals, or ungulate species, have horny females. Animals considered to have true horns are cows, sheep, goats, and some of their relatives. The striped bongo pushes her way through the dense undergrowth of tropical forests with horns that are as big as her mates. Female Cape Buffalo horns are smaller than the males, but when they need to defend their offspring, nobody would call those horns small. Scientists believe the mouflon, a creature with impressive curved horns, is an ancestor of the common sheep. Some wonder how this beast with magnificent horns could have ever turned into a meek, fight-averse sheep. The domestication process is to blame. At some point during domestication, the mouflon lost its huge horns, and now anyone can beat up a sheep. Creeping through the African brush, the shy Niala uses its spiraled horns to move brush aside in order to help it hide from predators. Making its way through the trees is faster and easier for the red forest buffalo due to its small horns. From the three-inch horns of the Dick Dick to the four-foot curling horns of the giant Eland, horns are employed by a variety of animals. Big, small, curly, straight. Animals grow them all. And that's what makes horny creatures crazy creatures.